Hello world, it's Rational Pie, and I'm back with you here today to start our second programming series. I'm really excited to get this series started off. This is going to be a relatively short series compared to our AI series, which I'm not entirely done with yet. I'm just uh, looking for some time to finally sit down and actually code the A star algorithm itself. But let's go ahead and get started on, as you can see here, I have turned my channel banner logo into ASCII art. And that's what we're going to be doing for the next few videos. Uh, we're going to be taking an image and we're going to be transforming it into ASCII. I think that's pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and show you guys in this first episode how you pull images into C Sharp. Let's go next out of there. So I borrowed uh, some of this code from a uh, person named Thinethlanian Gannison. I don't know how to say that, but anyway, um, he had a, a sample piece of code that was a little bit more complex than I wanted to do on this channel so far, so I took the idea, switched some things up, and made it to where it's just one uh, C-sharp document instead of several C-sharp files. Uh, that way it should make it a little bit easier. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through our flowchart. So if we want to do some ASCII art, so there's going to be two global variables and one thing that I actually learned and I probably should have known this before is that C Sharp doesn't have native global variables. So if I wanted to save my ASCII characters and uh, the nude picture substring, and it's going to be end up being a string by the way, um, then it's going to have to be saved in its own class and that's what I've done here at the very top, this public static class globals. Uh, what that does, it allows me to uh, have global variables, and what this does, it uh, allows the other methods within this code to access those variables within it. So that's one thing I've already learned already, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to browse for a picture, and we want to save that picture as a bitmap, and then we want to determine the width of the ASCII art, and that's just going to be based on your uh, screen's resolution. Uh, and you don't want to have to keep scrolling back and forth if you want to like save it as a uh, as a snipping tool image or stuff like that. And then you want to maintain the aspect ratio after you have determined your width. Uh, so we're going to be adjusting the width and the height. And then we're going to convert that image to ASCII. And then we're going to display ASCII in a form browser. And we'll go through each step. I'm hoping these videos will each be about seven minutes each, roughly and so that you're not overwhelmed with information in each video. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over how we're going to structure this series. So the first video is uh, what is ASCII art and pulling in images into C-sharp. We already went over that. Uh, the second video is what is a bitmap and how you can find out individual pixel information. What you can actually do is you can take in an image and find the information for every individual pixel in that image. And that's what we're going to be doing here to find out how we can transform an image into an ASCII art. And then uh, we're going to discuss aspect ratios in transforming the image, uh, form application in the web browsers with them forms, and then uh, video five, the last video, we're going to talk about improvements to this code, how we can add color to it, and other ways we can make the, uh, the images a little bit more sharper and a little bit better. So on that note, let's go ahead and start talking about how we can pull files into C Sharp. But first, let's go to our main method, and that's down here. This stat thread is something we're going to be going over here in a little bit, in a couple episodes. But just, just realize it's there. It's going to become an important part later on. I know there's comments everywhere, and you could probably read those. But uh, it's going to talk about the form browser later on. So open file dialog is a method in C Sharp that's going to allow you to open a file and read that file into C Sharp. So this open file dialog file right here is what's going to end up being our file that we're going to be using. So dialog result is just going to be basically um, the pop-up or the splash screen that pops up whenever you run the code that allows you to pick a file from your folders. Uh, the string file path is just the file path to the, uh, the file that we're looking at. So pretty simple. I know that you probably didn't need to explain that, but there you go. And then bitmap image is going to be the new bitmap that we, file, that we create through that file path, through that JPEG file. So let's just go ahead and demonstrate what it's going to end up looking like after we start it. So it's going to pop up. It's going to show um, all my files here in my channel art folder. 
and I want to go ahead and let's just go ahead and pick the little clown L and then it's going to produce it in ASCII art <laughs> that, that looks inappropriate probably shouldn't have picked that one but we're already here so there you go uh, let's go ahead and just start doing another couple things um, let's see what it looks like with an actual like picture of people um, let's see where's a good picture of me here's one with a kitty cat there's me and there's the kitty cat that's pretty cool so there you go that's what it's gonna end up looking like whenever you pull pictures into ASCII uh, they're not very high quality um, whenever I say ASCII what do I mean I mean these characters right here you got the hash mark the at symbol the percent symbol the equals plus asterisk colon a dash and period the uh, and NBSP uh, stands for it's a it's a space uh, that's what the SB is for and the reason it's based this way is because eventually in the form browser it's actually going to be utilized in HTML and then that's the reason we have to do it this way so that's what we're going to be doing I hope you guys are excited for this I know I am I know when I got done with this I was really excited I went ahead and programmed the whole thing first uh, and then make improvements later rather than write it as we go to see if we can uh, up the quality of these videos a little bit better uh, if you have any suggestions for upcoming projects or if you have any suggestions for this project in general please comment below a like and subscribe is always appreciated and I will see you guys in episode 2 of this new series see you guys later